welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to do a long-awaited nail art Q&A. So I have asked you guys, I think for like the last couple of weeks, or actually I have asked you previously when I just um, finished recording my previous nail polish and nail art Q&A which is like a year ago already so yeah I've asked you uh, what you really wanted me to answer so yeah here we go <laughs> um, I've got my little list with all of the questions there are a lot so just take your tea or coffee or soda or whatever you really like to drink because it's going to be a little bit of a longer video so the first question is what made you start YouTube? Um, I actually started YouTube way back when I was still like a full on beauty blogger. Um, I've had my personal beauty blog since 2010. So that is like nine years already. I think I actually started it around Halloween in 2010 as well. Um, so yeah, that's uh, been quite a long time. So I already made some videos. I didn't do it as often as I do now. Um, now I post three times a week and actually like 99.9% .9 is only like nail or nail art or hand and nail care related. So I kind of switched it up. I don't mention makeup as much as I used to do, um, especially now with this channel. This is actually my new or like second channel and my old one. I don't really use that one anymore. Um, so yeah, that's, I just started because I felt like it was a nice addition to do for my beauty blog and yeah there's nothing much more to say i have to say i was really um really shy in the beginning i really didn't um dare to actually do a voiceover or something like that um but my husband was like girl just ditch the makeup and go for something that you really really love which is nail polish and just nail art and all that jazz um, so yeah, my husband was kind of the reason why I started this second channel fully like based and just subjected on nails and nail art. <clears throat> I'm already losing my voice, like this is not good. But the second question is if I have any tips on starting a YouTube channel, um, just do it. Like I know it's like really, really scary to make videos, to actually show your face, um, to like let people hear your voice i know it's really really scary um, a lot of people are really shy as well uh, but if you never start you'll never know and that's just one of my life like mottos or however you want to call it um, you really just have to do it um, uh, yeah <laughs> it's just that easy um so yeah just just do it you don't need like the super professional stuff that everyone's using you don't need big expensive cameras um i actually just record with my phone i'm just looking at my phone right now which is the huawei p20 pro if i'm correct um like cell phones have great cameras you can do so much with them like the quality is just insane and everyone has a phone nowadays you know like i come from a time where there were no cell phones like that's how old i am <laughs> but uh yeah just just do it you don't need expensive stuff um as i said i record with my phone i have like a little microphone right here i want to be really gentle with it so you guys won't get like in your ears if you use any headphones. Um, and I actually added with Windows Movie Maker, which is a free application or like program that you can actually just download and use. And it's really, really easy. Um, yeah, so that are just my tips. Just go for it and don't um, expect to be perfect from your first video on. It's just a one big like learning process. I'm still learning stuff. Um, while making videos and editing and thinking about different angles and all that jazz. So don't think to be or expect your work to be perfect from the first video on. Uh, let me see. The next, uh, 
question is, if you weren't doing nails, what would be your passion or hobby? That is such a hard question for me because nails and nail art has been such a big um, part of my life. Um, that it's really hard for me to think what else I would be doing if I wouldn't be doing nails or nail art. Um, I really love um, photography. That's like such a hard word for me. Photo, photography in Dutch. Photo, fo <laughs> you know what I mean. Taking pictures. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I would be still doing a lot more of that. I used to do... Um, some modeling stuff as well myself. I really love makeup still, so that would be a really big passion as well. Um, yeah, I just really love to take my Nikon cameras and just go out and go wild and just photograph anything that I really, really love. Um, I used to do a lot of animal photography <laughs> as well. Um, so yeah, that is definitely something I would be doing if I really wasn't into nail art as much as I am. Um, let me check. The next question is, what is your favorite nail art channel and why? And I'm just picking one of my massively long hairs off of me because it was tickling like crazy. Um, so yeah, watch your favorite nail art channel on YouTube. I have to say I really love Robin Moses Nail Art. She has taught me so, so much with her videos and you should definitely check her out. She deserves way more subscribers. Um, and she's just like a diehard YouTuber. She's been doing nails and nail art for over 25 years, if I'm correct. So she really knows what she's talking about. And she's really, really good in freehand painting, which is something I really want to get into more um, because I, I just don't have enough time to do freehand painting. So I'd rather go for stamps or just an easier design, also an easier design that you can actually recreate. Um, that is something I really want to like achieve with my channel just to make nail art that everyone can make and you don't have to be like a super nail art ninja with a ton of skills or tools or stuff like that. So yeah, Robin Moses nail art is definitely one of my favorites. I really love Kelly Marissa as well. She's just a really colorful, like bubbly, like girl. We're almost like the same age. I, th I think I'm a little older, um, but I can really relate to her. Um, I feel like we're kind of like sisters from another mister, you know? <laughs> um, she has just, uh, I just love her personality and she has way shorter nails than I do, but she has beautiful swatch videos of like OPI, China Glaze, all of those brands. So do check her out as well. She also deserves way more subscribers and I just feel like she's a really kind, sweet, bubbly person and it really comes across on camera as well so do check her out i really really love her videos uh, let me check how long does it take to do your nails that really depends on what kind of designs i do if i only do one color like i have this one uh right here is one by catrice that takes me for one hand i think like with drying time like 15 minutes or something um, if I do a really intricate design with a lot of gems, it will take me about half an hour a hand, I'd say. Um, so it really, really depends. Um, next question, like I'm almost talking for like nine minutes. I really have to hurry up. <laughs> next question is, how long does it take for you to record, edit and upload a video? And then again, that really depends on... Um, what kind of video I make, the nail polish of the week videos, I think those will take me like 30, maybe 45 minutes from recording, dry time, editing, voiceover and upload. Like those are rather like a little bit more, how do you say that? Those are shorter in time, <laughs> less time consuming, I have to say. Um, but if I do like a full on nail art, like hand painted or with gems, uh, that takes me like a couple of hours. Like the record part is mostly um, the least amount of time. Like it takes a long time to actually convert your um, like videos uh, and to edit them. That's like most of the work actually not really doing the nail art because uh, the more you do nail art, the faster you get at it. Um, 
so it's actually more the editing that really takes most of the time and just making sure that everything is fine like your setup has to be good your lighting has to be decent because otherwise your camera will be freaking out um <laughs> sometimes i actually do keep in like my my little like mistakes if my camera is freaking out with like shifting to a higher lighting balance and stuff like that that's just i really want to show you how it is to actually make videos and not everything goes like to plan the way you want it to go, you know? So <laughs> stuff like that actually happens. And I like to keep it in just to show you that life isn't perfect, but just make the best of it, you know? Um, next question was, will you ever change your nail shape? I get this question so often, um, and I've just decided to keep my nails um, square or squoval, how you want to call it. It's like square, but I rounded the edges just a little bit because otherwise they are so sharp, I'm going to like hurt someone. Um, but yeah, I've been asked to do stilettos or almonds or really round short nails. Those are just not for me. They don't fit my personality. I feel like square um, looks best on my fingers as well. And I just think it's the most beautiful shape, <laughs> to be honest. I, I really, really like my square nails. So no, I won't be changing them up soon, at least. Maybe I will try to do another shape, but I just use my press-on nails in different sizes and shapes just to show you some different ideas that you can do for nail art and how different nail art designs actually look on different shapes and sizes. So yeah, I won't be cutting my nails in stilettos or anything like that soon. Um, the next question is, do you have a nail care routine? Yes, I do. I actually recorded that in November 2018. So if you want to check that out, you're more than welcome. I also recorded another video, which is kind of like an updated one. I think it will be already online. Maybe not if I upload this, I'm not sure. I'm pre-recording a lot of videos because of my four week trip to Asia this fall. So my planning is kind of all over the place. Um, I just look at it one week at a time. So I'm not sure when this video will be uploaded, but you'll just see it like plopping on your screen. Like, oh, new upload. <laughs> but yeah. Um, what's the most challenging nail art you've done? Mm. That's kind of a hard one as well, because some things to me are just more difficult. Um, another question was, by the way, also like, what is something you want to um, improve? I don't even know where that question is, but um, I really want to do more hand painted stuff. Um, that is something I really have to get the hang of. Like again, I have done it like before I was on YouTube and all that stuff. Um, so I never recorded that, but I get the shakes every now and then, like when I'm low on sugar or my blood pressure can be a little higher and then I start shaking and then it's really hard to do hand painted stuff. But yeah, that is actually really something I, I feel like is most challenging for me just to do hand painted stuff <laughs> on nails. <laughs> Um, the next question is, how do you grow nails fast? Like my nails don't grow fast. People think my nails grow fast, but they really, really don't. <laughs> Just use a lot of cuticle oil. Take care of your nails and your hands. Don't be in water with your nails like for a longer period of time because the water actually gets a little bit soaked up by the nails, which causes um, breakage or like splitting of the nails because the nails get more weak because of that. Just wear gloves whenever you do dishes or stuff like that and just be careful with them like some people just don't have strong nails um, you can apply a layer of gel or acrylic to actually strengthen them to make them grow out more the thing is like from experience speaking like not my personal nails but like from people around me is that when they did that like apply acrylic or gel to strengthen them and to actually grow them out um, Sorry, I was a little distracted. My neighbor just almost ran into my car. But <laughs> but the thing is that when people actually apply 
um, acrylics or gels on top of their kind of weak nails or brittle nails they have to keep on applying that because once they've grown out the nails but they don't use the acrylics anymore they are still weak because that's just what's in their genes what's in their dna uh, some people are lucky like me to actually have really strong natural nails so i don't need anything but i do have to mention i was a severe nail biter until my 14th birthday when i turned 14 i was like i really want to grow out my nails so i think that because i was such a severe nail biter my nails actually got a really big like bang because of it and yeah they just grow strong so um my nails don't grow fast but my nails are quite tough so yeah i don't really have any tips or tricks to really um grow out your nails or something like that really fast because everyone's nails grow in a different like speed and then again it's totally up to you how you treat your nails if they will actually grow long like have the chance to grow long then the next question i have is where do you get your inspiration from like inspiration as far as nail art goes um if i'm really like lacking inspiration i just go up to my nail room and i start looking in my little drawers and i'm just picking random colors and that's the way i actually um, get my inspiration of course there are so many different um, videos out there and just photos and if i do recreate something i always mention where i got my inspiration from uh, where i actually saw someone doing something similar but i always tend to give it my own little twist use different colors use a different technique maybe um, so yeah that's how i get my inspiration and i just I kind of have a good imagination as well <laughs> so um, sometimes I just get some random products together and I just put them all together in just one design if you know what I mean so the next question let me just look I've got so many questions on here um, do you water marble yes I do. <laughs> I actually made some videos on that as well. So if you want to check it out, uh, just look them up in my channel. They are in the, I think the nail polish and nail art playlist. You will just see it because I always take pictures of the end result and use those as my thumbnail. So you will definitely see if something is water marbled and of course in the title of the video as well. Um, next question, gel or nail polish? Again, a really difficult question. I really love nail polish and I think that regular nail polishes will always be in my like number one um, I really like gels you guys know that on my right hand I always have like a gel polish because I get sent out quite um, a lot of gel polishes as well just to try them out and to make cool designs with them so I just decided to do my right hand with gels and my left hand with regular nail polishes but I really do like the longevity that gel can give um, some gel polish brands like Madame Glam actually last up three to even four weeks on my nails without any lifting or tip wear or anything like that so that's really really neat but I really do like the fact that you can change up your regular nail polishes way easier and faster um, compared to gel polishes so i think that nail polish will always be the love of my life and that gel polish is just really cool to play with i'm not even like super trained in doing gel polishes yet also i never went to nail school or something like that i just taught everything myself um so yeah i'm not like a licensed nail tech or anything like that but i do understand like how nails work how they're built up with all the specific layers and aspects to them um so yeah just do your research before you start doing nails especially if you are going to work on other people's nails um that's really important just to know how to be hygienic stuff like that um how to not hurt your clients is a really nice one as well um so yeah what was the question again oh yeah <laughs> gel or nail polish um i've only done gel polishes for a year and a couple of months Let, let's just put it to one and a half years um that uh, pink jellic was actually one of the first brands that reached out to me which is like a big european brand um, they really have neat nail polishes a lot of different colors and finishes so 
is it like Madame Glam and Pink Jellock are just my go-to gel polish brands. I just really, really love them. Um, yeah, a lot of choice, a lot of different finishes. I really, really like them. But then again, nail polish will be my number one because I've just done that for the longest period of time. You can use it on about everyone. Uh, you can switch it up really easy. Just take it off if you make a mistake as well. You don't have to cure it. The only downfall is that you have a longer period that you actually have to wait for your nail polish to be completely dry that's like the only like negative thing i can say like comparing it to gel polish um but yeah you can do so many cool things with nail polishes for instance water marbling i've never done that with gel polishes i don't even know if you can do that with gel polishes i've never tried that before um but yeah nail polish will be my favorite for at least from now on <laughs> let me check what the next question is how old are you how long have you been doing nails and oh my cat just jumped on the table <laughs> and what is your nail art journey like i am 28 now i'm recording this but i think i will be 29 already when i'm going to upload this i'm not sure about that but my birthday is october 6th and i'm turning 29 in like a week or something um so yeah i am going towards 30 i don't want to think about that yet i'm going to stay in my 20s a little longer <laughs> but yeah that's how old i am like i'm a true 90s girl um how long have you been doing nails i've been doing nails like nail polishes and nail art some gems from when i was like 12 or 13 but i actually grew out my nails from my 14th birthday off or on um so i just count from my 14th birthday so that would be 15 years so yeah <laughs> that's how long i've been doing nails i've always loved doing nails even when i had like the really short like little stumpy nails the bitten one Ugh um but yeah you can even do nail art on the shortest little nails so no worry about that and my nail art journey yeah yeah <laughs> i can talk for hours about that but i just started off with adding glitter doing water marble some gradients dry brush technique actually all of the things that i'm sharing with you on my channel um like these days like here is timmy <laughs> with this little cat tail um but yeah i don't really have like a specific story uh, it's just i really wanted to grow out my nails because i love love long nails so that's just something i decided to do like cold turkey um from my 14th birthday uh on so that's actually my little journey and i've always done a lot of nail art and was always a little bit too shy to actually share it so i started my blog when i was 20 already um which was quite old to start a beauty blog um but yeah i, I don't really have much to say i just tried a lot of different stuff and the cool thing about nail polish is that you can just remove it if you don't like it um or if you have like a job that you're not allowed or to use nail polishes or you go to a school that you're not allowed to wear nail polishes like here in the netherlands you can go crazy you know nobody really cares um of course you don't want to do like profanity and stuff like that that's not a thing i would recommend to actually wear to school or a job <laughs> that's not really like professional um timmy like now Timmy is like starting to mowing. Like what are you doing? Hello? Hello? I don't know. Um, but yeah. I don't really have a specific journey. That was the question, right? I'm like a little rambly. <laughs> um, but the next question is... Do you have any tips on stamping or how to stamp? I actually decided I wanted to do a full on separate video on my tips and tricks on how to stamp, how to perfectly transfer the stamp, um, how to pick up your images, all that jazz. So I'm going to do a separate video on that. I'm not quite sure when that will be recorded um, and uploaded because of my four week trip to Asia. Um, also, I've been asked if I want to um, like record a ton, like do, asia vlogs 
Um, I think I am going to record a lot of footage, but I'm not sure if I'm going to share a lot because I'm going with my husband, of course. Um, and he doesn't like his face to be all over the internet. And that's just something I have to respect. And he's a little bit camera shy as well. He's not like me, just like, hi. <laughs> he's more um, like timid and more introvert and stuff like that. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to share, but maybe he's like, oh, what the heck, just, just share it. <laughs> and then you will see him as well. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to try and get me a ton of cute nail art stuff, especially in Thailand and um, in Tokyo as well. I hope to get a ton of cute nail polishes and just nail art stuff and yeah. Um, the next question is, would you ever want to create or have your own nail polish brand? I think like the idea is really cool, but then again, I also think that it is so much work to actually do that. And I would need so many extra hands and extra heads to actually think about formulas, ingredients, packaging, PR. I don't think I can do that on my own. Um, but I just, I really love to work on my own and not be like, um, how do you say that? I don't know how to say that in, in English, but I just don't want to depend on other people. Um, and I just want to be able to make my own decisions, uh, whether or not I do specific stuff. So I'm not sure I would really need to gather, um, to gather me just a really good team to actually do that. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I think like my channel, um, is just way too small to actually do that and to make it profitable profitable <laughs> and yeah i don't know i am maybe like in the future i would love to do so i would love to love to just take my own little spin in the nail art world or nail polish world and just do it but i'm really really not sure if i'm ever going to and then again how would i even call it i don't know like most people like damn to me my cat's going crazy um, but I don't, I'm totally lost. I don't know. Oh, most people actually don't even know how to pronounce my name. Um, like just my, my first name. Let's just not talk about my last name because people are definitely not going to be able to pronounce that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I don't even know how, how I would call it. I don't know. <laughs> then I only have one question left and that is more to do with like youtube and the whole community um how do you react to inappropriate or hate comments and i think i have answered a question like this in one of my previous nail art q a videos as well which i did somewhere last year um i just uh, it really depends on the comment like i get a lot of like perverted um comments as well and i just laugh because that's like the only thing I can do, like the little fetishists and stuff like that. I think it's really, really sweet and really brave of them to actually comment something like that. So kudos to you if you're one of the pervs out there. Um, but yeah, the really hate, I don't get that many either. Like like the really hateful ones, like go, go kill yourself or stuff like that. Um, and then again, I just think it's a lack of, um, like, how do you say that? It's a lack of their parents for not um, teaching their kids, like, just to be kind and respectful and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just, it's not my problem that you haven't been raised well enough to actually don't go online and troll people, you know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, mostly I just ignore, I just delete the comments. Um, like, really, I'm always up for good constructive feedback but if you're just going to be a little a-hole um, you're just not welcome on my channel um, because I also have like a younger like group of girls and guys watching and I just don't want them to be um, in a negative environment like that so if you don't have anything nice to say just don't speak 
<laughs> but that were already all of the questions. I really hope you liked this video. Um, yeah, let me know if there are any other questions that you would really like me to answer. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so much. And I hope to see you in my next video.